with Charles Davis. As always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Here's the punter Bradley Pinion on to get us started. And we are underway in Foxborough. You ain't going nowhere. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They begin the drive with Williams. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. The game's first play produces six yards. Brings up second down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Second down and four. They'll hand it off now. Williams. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. An early test for this defense. Here we go on third and inches. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. Now so much for picking it up on the ground on third down. Third play of the drive, and this defense showing strong early. I wonder how much of that was scouting. I wonder how much of that was a gut feeling like, okay, let's just go ahead and sell out here and get after them, thinking they're going to run the football and stuff them early, because they've now set the tone. They've set a precedent right here. If you're going to try and run the ball against us, it could be hard going throughout this game. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. We see the first completion of the game there from the Dolphin great Dan Marino, and that never gets old. No, it does not. And Miami accumulated over 61,000 yards passing, led the league six different times in completions in a 17-year career. I saw every one of those years, and it feels like he led the league in completions way more than six times. Dan Marino had a magnificent run with the Miami Dolphins. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Second down at six now from the 42. Now it's Moreno. Looking for Ridley on the out route. He's got it. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 33. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. before he could even get started. One of the best of the last decade or so, Bobby Wagner in to bring him down. When people talk about plays being blown up, that's exactly what they're talking about. That's exhibit A for physical play. Now run straight ahead with Warren. Four yards on the pickup there, and now they're left with a third and eight. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down and eight. Now Marino to throw it. Got his man complete over the middle. Brad Smith. 
And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 21. We'll give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. And they'll bring the big tight end across the formation left. They'll run it with Williams. And he'll be taken down here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. No score after one on EA Sports. Here now, second and four. They run it again with Williams. And he's brought down. A nice pick up of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. The impressive opening drive continues, and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Williams is into the end zone, touchdown Miami. So he had the nice run to get him down there. It was stopped just short of the goal line, but they go right back to him, CD, and he delivers to finish the drive off. A little extra determination there, don't you think, partner? You notice he didn't tap on his helmet and say, get me out after the run down to the end zone. He said, I almost got in. I'm going to get in on my own. I'm staying in, and he carries it across the goal line. Mike McDaniel, no hesitation on his end. He's telling his offense to go for two. They'll try and throw for it. And he's going to be taken down. It's a sack. And they fail on the try for two. So they went for two and failed. They didn't use him on the PAT, but now he boots this one away with a 6-0 lead. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. They'll start on the ground with Gore. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. The ageless one, Julius Peppers, in to bring him down. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Here's Michael Vick. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing into coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Over the middle, complete. It's Sanders. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. They'll get eight, but they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive because that's not enough. We can make this one pretty simple. Walk the ball of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? Oh, a big decision here early. Look at this. They're going to go for it on their own side of the field. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Look at the big man rumble. And down to the seven-yard line. 
Wow, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. They'll try it up the gut with goal. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two minutes remaining in this first half for football. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Vic to throw it. And it's caught. Five yards that time on the completion. And now it's third and goal. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Vic now. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. So they'll accept that penalty, and that'll, of course, move the football up the field. Here's another first and goal, but from a little further back this time following the penalty. Gore will take this one in. It's a Lions touchdown. Sometimes offensive can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Point after, right down the middle. And they take the lead here at 7 to 6. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And able to get this out to the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Williams going to get it again on second down. Now he's loose at the 40, inside the 20. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Kyron Williams with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Dolphins will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Mike McDaniel, no hesitation on his end. He's telling his offense to go for two. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. So now the Dolphin offense will stay out there as they'll go for two. They'll look to throw. And he's got it. So they decide to still go for it, even after the five-yard penalty. And they convert. So the flag backed him up five yards to the seven. They still get the two-point conversion, though. Now, was that confidence in the play call they had and in their offense, or just absolute disdain for the defense? <laughs> it worked. the touchdown. Here's Groupie to kick this one away. Fair catch going to be taken and this will be moved out to the 25. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And with just under a minute to go, they might try to think about mounting a drive here if they can and get in the end zone to potentially tie this game up. 
And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Second down, Vic. He'll let this go deep for Sutton. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Vic readies to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have the Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Vic will look to throw on first down. The throw out wide going to be incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. They'll throw again. Here's Vic. That's into the hands of Brian Finnery. The Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Vic operating on first down. And that is caught. It's Davis. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. A first down throw coming for Vic. That is incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the left hash, it's a 42-yard attempt. And the now 40-year-old veteran able to put this one through. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. It'll be Lions football to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. This fielded right at the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. As they begin their second half here, Charles, offensively, you know, not where they want to be, obviously. They're losing in this ball game, but very much within striking distance. We'll see what adjustments they make in the second half. Is that the old glass half full, half empty type of a deal? Which way do you want to look at it? Because you're right, they're down on the scoreboard, but they're definitely opportunities now because if they want to go ahead and get going in this one, get back to the running game. I think there are going to be some places to go with it. And I think the offensive line will appreciate the chance to fire out and hit people. That's a good point because they virtually had nothing going in the ground game in that first half. On third down, Vic from his end zone. Rolling to his right. Under pressure and down he goes in the end zone. And that's his safety. So free kick situation forthcoming from the 20 as they'll punt this one away. Fielded just inside the 20. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead. Now a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game as a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it. And in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them, too. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage, and now third and 11 coming up.
To throw is Marino. He's going to float this one deep right side. Oh, look at this. Marino's throw intercepted. Steeler legend Troy Palomalu with a pick. Well, that one was in the air for an agonizingly long time. Uh, just begging to be picked off, wasn't it? It's oh, one God. thing if you're throwing a ball like that, trying to throw someone open or lead them into an area. But that ball needed to be thrown with a lot more conviction. As a result, it's an easy interception. A running play here on first down is going to go nowhere as he is tackled behind the line of scrimmage. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then Good. some on second and 13. And Vicks throw there incomplete. As expected, he's gone to him several times in this game, but that's the first time one has slipped from his grasp. I bet he goes back to him, though. He's an excellent player. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. There's Vic. And he is caught. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. It's a play fake. Now Vic. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Throwing, Vic. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Oh, nice defensive effort there, providing the hit as the ball got to the receiver, separates him from the catch, and normally he's a sure-handed target. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield, and he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. A big play that time on the catch and run, 31 yards. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Flushed out right. And he'll find Sutton on the right side complete. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll bring up second down. Now here's Vic. This one caught by Davis. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the run. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, it will. And he's got a first down to boot. Here we go. Here we go. They'll try and push it in with goal. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Frank Gore. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Lions have tied the ball game with a chance to go ahead now in the final seconds of the third quarter. Extra point attempt to follow here. It's up and good, and they take the lead by a point, 17-16. And they will not have time to get another play in here as time has run out. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in the tight one. 
And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. 119 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Again, it's Williams down at the 35. It'll be second down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mucked that down for a win in the defense's column. Second down, Williams. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? They'll come to the line now on a third and six. Now Marino. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. And the Lions have just about sewn up this football game. Come on, come on. The Detroit hey, offense hey, ready hey. to begin their drive. Well, they can smell victory, partner. They can see it on the horizon, but certainly we're not done yet here. Defense still has three timeouts, and obviously this is a very slim lead they're holding on to. And let's face it, the easiest way to get this done, challenge your ground game, challenge your offensive line, your tight ends, your receivers. Anyone who's going to lay down a block, don't let there be penetration because they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and maybe bring extra people to the ball. If you can do that, make them burn their timeouts, run out the clock, life will be good. But if you really want to gamble a little bit, a quick play action, quick throw, might be able to get it done. Just make sure it's not incomplete and stop the clock. And he will have a Lions first down, and that's the one that should seal a victory. Try and choose some clock with Gore. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get through and protect the ball. And he's stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. And here's carry number 10 for Frank Gore. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Vic. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And the Dolphins get the football in great field position. Here's first and ten. Here, Marino. That's caught by the tight end, 
Smith Jr. And he'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So here we go, a big spot now for Blake Groupie. His first attempt of the afternoon, and it's for the win. And his kick is indeed good, but now there is a penalty marker on the field, so let's see what this is about. So after the field goal, back out is Groupie to send this one away. Now on the return, oh no, the ball is loose. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. A fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort... That was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. So that'll do it for Charles Davis, the rest of our crew. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. And with that, we say so long from Foxborough.